Alright, so today I want to go over where all of the Heridium moles, or Heridium moles, all, where they all spawn. Um, on this map here, there is 12 locations marked. However, I found at least 20 locations. Um, and I'll go over them in the video uh, in just a second. Um, if you don't know what they are, they're moles in EHM that go up and down. Um, they run away when you attack them. They have high, very high avoidance for melee and archers. So you want to kill them really quick. It's really easy for mages to do this. Um, the moles, they always drop a thing called a mole crate. It can give anywhere between t 10 gold, 250 gold. Always costs 100 labor. It's not affected by any proficiency. And they can also give you copper, silver, or gold keys. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and start this. Alright, so right now in this video, I'm at, I'm eating and I'm playing with one hand. So there is actually a mole that spawns right here. And I actually walk over it. He's underground right now. So I do trigger him. And uh, my character will automatically target him once he comes up. You see right here. He has two seconds left on the timer. He's about to run away. I'm like, oh my god. I'm so, I'm fr so frustrated. But you know what? I'm just going to keep going and going on. And once again... You know, I'm not paying attention. I actually jump onto this mole, trigger him. So I just lost two moles right there just by being complete pepega. Like, there's no excuse for that. So, alright, so here's where I actually start finally killing things. So I see exactly where he spawns, this guy. There, so right at this tree near the big uh, black forest tree end, there are three. Uh, the one I walked over there, right here, and then over here. So this one, he would just wander around, so I'm casting wa wave meteor on him. Uh, you can still AoE them when they're on the ground. Uh, it's really nice if you're undergeared, you know, if you have, uh, if you only have like 4k gear score lower. And you don't even have max, uh, magic ac accuracy yet. It's really nice to wave meter them while they're on the ground because they don't move. They take the full meteor. Even if you miss them, they'll still probably die. Um, so if you do AoE them, well, it's like God's Whip or if your meter doesn't fully kill them. You can, like after a second, after you, uh, aggro them while they're on the ground, they will become targetable. You can just do arc lightning or backdrop fireballs or whatever you want to do to kill them. So right here, I've actually seen two moles that spawn right here and also there. So once again, I'm just going to wave meter him, kill him. It's very easy for mages. I'm decently gear scored in here. Um, I think I'm probably around like, you know, 5, 6k at this point. And then down here, uh, there are, there's two between these big trees here. There's this first one. Once again, just wave meteor, and then this other one, and this one I'm just charging a blade fall for him, and then I'm unleashing all my damage, and he spawns right here. All my damage all at the same time. Kill him quickly. You only have like so what, like eight seconds or something like that once you aggro him. All right. So going back after these two trees here, uh, there is one. Uh, no, I believe there's two over here in this camp on the left. And this camp's actually really annoying. There's mobs are like right on top of the moles. So if you have a pet with auto loot, definitely just pull it out here and it'll save you a whole bunch of issues. You can just kill them over here. I'm wasting my time killing the mob here. I was, I'm more experienced now dealing with these moles than I was in this video. But I have like a system all set up. So I just kill the mole here and I go loot them in a second. My, I don't have my auto loot on right now. Actually, I know. I'm sorry. I do. I do have my auto loot on. So here we go. It's gonna wave me near this next mob here too. And waiting between each meteor, you know, it's the three second cooldown. I don't really like to do it because, especially if there's like other people around and they see me setting up and all this stuff, you know, they could either jump me or they could take take my mole from me. So jump over the ridge, go down here, and there are three moles that spawn here. We have one over here that's underground, uh, there's another one over here, and then there's this one. So killing the one on the left first. <clears throat> then setting up for these two. <clears throat>
And then this last one here, just kill him. Alright, deep froze that guy. I'm not even worried about killing him. <clears throat> all I'm doing is trying to do a speed run and get all the moles. Drop aggro <clears throat> and just run past it. Now, up here, um, there are three moles that spawn near all the elites. And I'll show you real quick. Alright, so we have this one right here. Uh, this one. There's one that just went on the ground there. You can see this little dust cloud. And there's one off screen. Uh, off lo the loading area. There's one back here too. Yeah, even if you have low gear score, as long as you're Ancestral 7, you have Wave Meteor seizing. So here's the third one I'm going on. I've actually seen another mole spawn back here. Actually, he is up. Wait, did I miss him? Let me see here. Because this is a mole back there. I've learned that since this video. It looks like he was up, and I'm, I may have just missed him. Also... There is another mole that spawns back here, I found out. There is another mole that spawns behind this uh, ball here. But I'm just watching my back here. And, yeah, you see, I actually missed it, that mole. Wow. I've watched this video a couple times now, and that's the first time I've, I've noticed that he was up, and I just walked past him. So, what I'm doing, well, normally in the other places, I'm doing slash target hair DM mole. I copied it like um, in Notepad, and now I'm just typing it, just like spam typing it. So after this, after the elites, I run up all the way up to Waterfall, and there is two that spawn in this camp here. One up front, and then, so there's this one right here, and then there's another one farther back here on the other side. Alright, just wave metering once he's underground, doesn't move. And then over here on the right, this guy right here. I don't want to get close to him. Pull up my pet for auto loot. I'll show you how to get down here. I just climb over this little wall here. And then. In this spot here, I've seen actually three moles that spawn. I've only seen two at the same time, but I've seen three locations. You got one, two, and then three. Alright, so... In this video, you know, I did miss two. Well, I walked over two, and then I didn't actually see that third one when I was doing this. So I could have got 18 total mole crates just in this clip. Um, so I do open them. And people have asked me the timers on them, you know, when they respawn. Honestly, I don't know. I know they respawn multiple times a day. I've heard anywhere between 15 minutes and 3 hours. I've heard it's a constant 3 hours. I've heard 2 hours. Honestly, I don't know. I just know they're up, um, you know, relatively often. So if you want to go check them every so often, you know, go go for it. They give you in between 10 gold to 150 gold. They also can give you copper, silver, and gold keys. So I open up all 15 of them in the for the stream, and you can see here that I got uh, 350 gold, just raw gold. Then also get eight copper keys and three silver keys. So I have another video where I open up 100 mole crates in a single setting, and I got 2,400 gold. I also got a whole bunch of keys, um, but if you want to see that, uh, I will put a link in the description down below. Alright, you guys have happy mole hunting, and I will see you later.